Has this ever happened to you where you go to work, whether you work outside the home or you work inside your home office and you sit down at your desk, you open your computer and you're kind of like, I'm just not feeling it today. And it takes you absolutely forever to get things accomplished. I'm going to tell you a little secret, friends. It happens to me, but I have ways to combat this feeling and I want to share them with you. They're fast and fun and it's how I stay motivated and productive on the regular. Are you ready to learn what they are? I'm ready to share them. Episode 264 starts right now. Welcome to the Laura Shipman Show minicast, a special edition of my podcast where it's just you, me, my mic, your earphones, plus quick tips and hacks you can implement immediately to improve your life and your business. Are you ready to get started? I know I am. Let's dive in. Well, hey there, my friends. Welcome back. I'm so excited you are with me here today because it is my most favorite day of the week and that's minicast day. And I love minicast because I can give you a shot in the arm of information, but there's one rule. Whatever you learn on this mini cast, you have to put into action so that it actually changes your life. And today we're talking about staying motivated and productive. And sometimes that can be really hard, especially when you're stuck in the rut in a rut and you feel like you just do the same thing on repeat day after day. Well, I've got some tips that can help you combat this. And my first tip is regular exercise. I start every day with a three and a half mile walk. And I know that sounds like a lot for some people, maybe not for others. Maybe you guys do five miles or seven miles, but I start every day with a three and a half mile walk because I know I'm going to be sitting for the majority of the day. And if I don't get that walk in, I feel really restless and I don't feel like working because I'm sitting in a chair. So that's my first tip. Get regular exercise, whether it's walking running, swimming, yoga, whatever it is, start your day right to get you going. The second thing I do is work on building enthusiasm. Now this is going to sound really weird, but what I do in the mornings, maybe during my walk or as I'm getting ready is get really jazzed up about my day, about all the exciting things that I have planned, whether it's a podcast interview or if it's writing content or creating graphics, writing a blog post, whatever it is, I build that enthusiasm inside me leading up to the minute I sit down at my desk. And that's really important because I have all this positive energy inside me that is just bursting to come out. So between the exercise and the enthusiasm that I'm building up inside of me, when I get ready to start my day, I am ready 110%. The next thing I do is I create boundaries. And what I mean by boundaries are, especially since I work at home, is creating a specific start time and a specific end time because otherwise I will work all the time. And in that really, I used to do that quite a bit actually, and it drained me. And then I lost my enthusiasm and my joy for my work. And I really love what I do because it's a creative outlet. I get to work with some amazing clients. I get to do a podcast and talk to you on a weekly basis. And I never want to lose that joy that I have from doing my job. And the thing that I, I, it defines me, right? Because I created this um, this business on my own and it's a reflection of who I am, that I have a creative side to me, that I love to write, that I love to connect with people and I don't ever want to lose that. So I have to create work boundaries and that is you know, being very clear about when my start time is, when my end time is, when I take, take client calls and when I don't take client calls. Because if I'm constantly working through the weekends and not spending time with my family, I lose myself and I don't want to do that. And I don't want to lose my joy. So it's really important to create those boundaries, be clear and transparent with the people you work with, whether it's, um, in your email signature that explains when your hours are, when you do your onboarding process, if you have clients, let them know what your hours are and that you're not available 24 seven. Working from home, and this is my next tip, it's easy for me just to sit at my desk and plow through until the end of the day. I used to do that quite a bit too, but what I've changed about this is I take 
breaks. So I make sure I do something outside of what feels like work. So for me, that might be playing with my shih tzus, or it might be taking a 10 minute yoga break, or it might be a quick walk around the block, something, or maybe it'll it'll be me sitting down reading a book that is not business related. Whatever it is, I need to take a 10 minute break just so that I can clear up my head. And then that, you know what that does is when I separate myself from work for 10, 15 minutes, my brain gets more creative and I get more excited and more motivated. And then that, that enthusiasm for what I do comes back. So it's really important to do that. So then, and I mentioned this, this is my next tip. I used to read nothing but business books and I would listen to business podcasts while I walk and I would listen to audible books that were all business related. Now I've changed that. I throw in some nonfiction and the reason why I do that is it gives me a break. It turns my brain off. It is fun and it also really drives the creative side of me because listening to or reading how other people put words together, together, sentences together, how they explain things really adds a spark of creativity to my life. So try some nonfiction. If you're not a nonfiction reader, just go out there and explore, try different books, try different things. It's, it really is a great escape. The next thing that I do to stay motivated is I'm grateful for my clients every single day. Like I thank them every day I sit down at my computer and start working for them. I'm thankful that they're there. I'm thankful that they trust me. I'm thankful that they love the content I create for them. I'm thankful that I am able to sound like them. And it just makes, it just makes my job in relating with my clients so much more fun and more pleasant. So be thankful and grateful for the position you have, whether it's a it's a business that you started yourself or you're working for an agency or in someone else's business, look for ways that you can be grateful for the job that you have. And the last thing that I do that helps me so much, and I've talked about this before on the podcast, I wish I had looked up what episode number it is, but I work in focus sprints and I learned this through the Pomodoro technique. And what this basically is, is you set a timer for 30 to 45 minutes. And all you do is you work on one task uninterrupted for those 30 to 45 minutes. And then when that time is up, you get up and you spend your time for 10 minutes doing, you know, taking a break. And that could be what we talked about before, you know, going for a walk, doing yoga, reading something that isn't related to what you're working on. And it really helps me when I know I'm, I need to be focused for 30 minutes on one task. I am going to focus and I'm going to get that done. And it's amazing how quickly you can plow through your to-do list on a daily basis if you were really focused in what you were doing. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a good hard look at how my day is going and I will rate, rate myself on how productive I am being. And I, there are times when it takes me longer to do tasks that usually take a shorter amount of time. And it's because I'm not focused. There's something distracting me. There's something off and I need to address whatever that is that's distracting me. So maybe it's setting that timer. Maybe it's taking a break or maybe it's just getting that distraction completed, whatever that distraction may be. And then I'm able to get back to work and really working on what I do best and completing my projects and tasks for my clients. So that's it, my friends. That's what I do to stay motivated and productive. It really helps me and it helps me make work fun. And actually, I forgot to mention this one other thing that I do. Um, I like to listen to ambient music. I listen to Chill Hop on YouTube. This is not sponsored by Chill Hop by any means, but that's what I listen to. And it really helps to fill the air and it, it just actually adds some creativity to my work. So I really enjoy that. So I recommend um, ambient music, music without words. Um, there are lots of different different channels you can listen to on Spotify and on YouTube. Some of them are even named Focus. And pick those channels and listen to those to help you clear your head and to stay focused on the work in front of you. 
All right, my friends, that does it for this mini cast. Now you have a job to do. It's to take some of these tips and implement them into your life so you can work more efficiently and productively. All right, that does it for this episode. Kiss the ones you love. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay social. Hey, before you go, I have a question for you. Are you loving the show? Let me know about it. Take a screenshot of the episode you are listening to and drop it in your social media posts or stories, or better yet, give this show a review on iTunes or your favorite podcast app, letting me know that you listened in. If you have a topic or show idea, please don't be shy. I want to hear from you. Send me an email or a DM. I would love to hear your suggestions. All the links are in the show notes. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you as always for tuning into the show today and every day you listen in.